thing that Maggie can do is make some friends. Yeah, she would always like meet new people and be talking to folks and just be so open and just like empathetic with them. And yeah, it's pretty remarkable how Maggie kind of makes these connections and brings these people along on the way. I think she shares this with with Nick, as also evidenced by the huge attendance tonight, he's got an amazing, huge family, tons of friends from day one that go really far back. And together, they've built this amazing community um, around themselves, their friends, Nixon, his activities, his friends, and just built this beautiful life. So beauty has always been really important to Maggie, and you did it. <laughs> this is beautiful. Take you, Maggie, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, sickness and in health, love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Hi, Maggie, take you, Nick, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Congratulations. known Nick almost 30 years. We met at a Little League, opposite teams. His father, Steve, was the coach. We then went to rival schools, Carrie and Underwood. So we didn't get along until we finally met in Thompson. We were at a homeroom, and we've been best friends ever since. When I look at Nick, I see someone that's great at everything. Since the day I met him, basketball, baseball, football, you name it, except reading and writing. <laughs> Seriously, Nick, uh, you're a great guy. You're younger than me, but I've always looked up to you. And Maggie, honestly, you're the, the best person Nick could have ever chosen. You're so beautiful, you're a true angel, and uh, thank you so much for accepting Nick and uh, being a part of our big family here. And You're absolutely amazing, and uh, I look forward to many years together and sharing a lot of memories with you two both and with Nixon as well. I watched Maggie grow from a pretend teacher with a classroom of stuffed animals through a successful college career and along the way noticed her how caring and fiercely loyal she was to her friends and family. She has dreamed of this day since she was a little girl and now her dream is complete with her very own Prince Charming and his son Nixon. Today I watch her marry a wonderful man. I am filled with pride and confidence that she and Nick are embarking on a wonderful journey filled with respect, love, and happiness and Nixon. I love you, Maggie, and I'm very proud of you. If I may borrow a quote from Walt Whitman, the strongest and sweetest songs in your life together yet remain to be sung. God bless. <laughs>